start banging on my door. It was like, who's in there? Who's in there? And I'm like, y'all I hope you guys are doing well ah, ah. Whew. I made it through another day I don't know what it is it's like at the end of the day I feel like I done made it through the war I came through I made it to the other side Lord Jesus today was one heck of a day and the day started off I kind of laid in bed because I went to bed at 1 because I was trying to do other stuff I woke up and I'm rushing to get ready and then uh, one of my co-workers she calls me and I'm like what why am I trying to get ready what are we possibly gonna talk about I'm rushing through the house and so on and so forth I was like hello she was like girl I just want to tell you that 1960 is shut down <laughs> And you know I wanted to make me a little breakfast sandwich before I hit the road. So I eat it along my drive with my cup of good coffee. My coffee was good this morning. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know alternate route to get to work. So she was like, girl, just hop on 99. So when I did the um, map directions, I was like, 99 is not popping up. So I get on 99 and I'm going in the opposite direction, but you know, it reroutes you. So I'm like, the morning was just, da, 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 da. then I had to get gas. It was no time. Then I had planning this morning. Then I had to rethink some stuff. Then I had to have some stuff due by four o'clock. And that's what it's like. You get days that are like that. And then another group is planning and there have they problem in this. So some days gonna be great. Some days gonna be like, what happened? How did I make it through the day? Oh my God. And then you gotta have some days. I don't want to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> is it Christmas yet? It wasn't a bad day, but it was a lot. Um, a lot of stuff I had to do and it just seemed like it was just all coming out and trying to do my lessons, trying to do this. It just all piled on top of me, especially because I was trying to create an escape room and I wasn't very successful, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. And so, um, but what I did do today and I gave out my little punch cards today. So I gave out these, let me show you a blank one. So these are punch cards that all the students got this card today. So they all got this. I wrote their name. I wrote their name on a card. And then if they came in with their completed homework, like we discussed, then they got a punch card and they got some points on their little ID card. And then I punched a hole so they could also hang this with their ID card. So I have three weeks to give out as many punches as I can. Hopefully it'll get the students excited about the Kit Kat and the gift card um, for our raffle drawing at the end of the next three weeks. So some of them was like, mm, I want that Kit Kat. I, my mom loves Kit Kat. So it has, it's working for a lot of kids and me keeping it in front of the room is working as well. I wanted to share, so I went to my mailbox and I guess around Thanksgiving time, different teachers or whatever had different things that they did where they could give it away to other teachers, you know, from the students. So teachers, I guess maybe the art teacher, I don't know where they got this stuff, but the kids were allowed to write little notes to their teachers 
during Thanksgiving to say what you're thankful for. And I went to my mailbox today. I hadn't gone to my mailbox in a while. And I got this little note. And it was so, it really brought tears to my eyes. It was so sweet and it was so unexpected. It says, Dear Miss Basil, he spelled my name right, honey. I am thankful for you because you are amazing. Thank you for teaching me last year, and he's now an eighth grader and a boy. Your outfits were always awesome, and they still are awesome, and so is your room. I love you, your friend. Doop, doop, doop. <laughs> so I just thought that was so sweet that one of my students thought about me um, during the note writing from last year to this year. And I still see him. He, he is a sweet boy. He's, he's just precious. And he was like, Miss Basil, you like my hair? <laughs> I was like, yes, it is cute. It looks great. <laughs> And so that just, it just really brought, it was like the icing on a cake that really, really made my day feel special. And it was unexpected. And the date on this is November 17th. So this is just before we went on break. So I thought that, that was really nice. I guess as a teacher, when you have those sweet, precious moments like this, it kind of makes it feel like, you're glad you are a teacher because obviously I touched his life in some kind of way for him to think about me the next year. I think his was the first that I received um, from my previous students because they the students really focus on who their teachers are now. So I thought that was really, really sweet. And that really, it really made my day. So I just wanted to stop him because I just had to share my little note and I do feel a little overwhelmed um, the Dawn, the English lead, she has been so helpful. She even took some stuff off my plate today and I just feel like it's piling on me. I feel like I'm, I'm drowning right now. I really do. I just feel overwhelmed. So I may stop and try to organize my desk a little bit because I think that's bothering me too. So sometimes you have to take two steps back in order to go forward. But I feel overwhelmed, I feel tired, I feel hungry. Oh my gosh, all right, real quick, listen, listen, listen. I was retelling a story, but the way I tell a story, I have to use all the vocabulary words. So I use all the vocabulary, I don't know, I could just come up with a story like that. But this was a true story. And I was telling a story, so I was reenacting part of the story. And we do intruder drills at school. We do fire drills and we do intruder drills. And so I wasn't thinking, I'm just feeling it. I'm in the moment, I'm hyped up, I'm telling my story. And then I said, this is what happened, y'all, this is what happened. So I walk outside my classroom door and I start banging on my door. It was like, who's in there, who's in there? And I'm loud. And so there are teachers who are planning, honey, let me tell you, they like that, they jumped up, honey. They were at my door. I was like, oh, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. And they were serious. They were ready. Oh my gosh. It, it gives me chills just to think about it because I'm being silly and extra. That didn't scare these people half to death. These fire drills, honey, they were ready. They were ready. <laughs> and then Dawn, the, 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 the English lady, she was like, uh-uh, I was ready to take my earrings off. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. But they were on it. At least I know I got people around me, honey, who ready. They are down for whatever. Bring it. And then um, later on, Dawn was like, oh, I thought a kid was beating you up. I said, honey, let one of these kids try. No, not today. Not in here. I don't think so. Mm-mm. No, no, no. You know, I'll be breaking up a fight, but I'm not fighting with no kid. <laughs> I don't do that. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. It just shows that, you know, that's a pretty good team that they're going to have your back. You know, you may not go out for lunch and chit-chat all the time, but honey, when it's down to business, they got you. They got you. <laughs> all right, I done ran my mouth nonstop. I'm hungry, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. Nope, I got to do a few things before I go. So my goal is to get out at 5. It is 4.46. 
and this outfit I'm wearing is not camera ready. It's not camera. They was like, you look cute. I was like, mm, no. They was like, no, you do. I was like, ah, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Hopefully I could play dress up tomorrow because it's fun, but I don't have any shoes. Guys, you know shoes are my weakness. Oh, give this video a thumbs up or not. Until next time. Bye, y'all.